Learn English fast. Mastering phrasal verbs with go. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson in our Intermediate English Grammar series. Today, we're diving into the world of phrasal verbs, particularly focusing on phrasal verbs with go. Phrasal verbs may seem challenging, but they're an essential part of natural, fluent English speech. So, let's go, conquer them together. Before we delve into our main topic, let's quickly revisit what phrasal verbs are. A phrasal verb is a verb combined with one or more words, usually a preposition or an adverb. This combination creates a new meaning, which can be different from the original verb. Example, look up is a phrasal verb. Look alone means to direct your gaze, but when you add up, it means to search for information. Now, let's dive into phrasal verbs using go. These phrasal verbs can have a variety of meanings, often related to movement or change. Here are some common ones. 1. Go on. To continue doing something. 2. Example. She went on speaking for hours. 3. Go off. To explode or to be activated. Alarm. To start disliking something or someone. 4. Example. The alarm went off at 6 a.m. I've gone off that TV show recently. 5. Go over. To review or examine something. 6. Example. Let's go over our plans one more time. 7. Go through. To experience a difficult situation. To examine something in detail. 8. Example. She's going through a tough time. I went through all the documents. 9. Go for. To choose something. To attack someone. 10. Example. I'll go for the chocolate cake. The cat went for the mouse. Remember, context is everything with phrasal verbs. The same phrasal verb can mean different things in different situations. Now it's time for some practice. I'll provide a sentence, and you try to fill in the blanks with the correct phrasal verb. 1. I, blank, to the gym every day. 2. Let's, blank, the rules again. 3. She, blank, when she saw the spider. 4. The fireworks, blank, at midnight. 5. He, blank, reading the book after the first chapter. Practice these sentences, and try to come up with your own as well. The more you use these phrases, the more naturally they'll come to you in conversation. And that wraps up our lesson on phrasal verbs with go. Remember, learning English is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Keep practicing these phrasal verbs, and soon, you'll be using them like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and we'll go on to more fascinating topics in our next video. Happy learning!